Hello, 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 Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I am Dr. Myla Bennett of Adarabella Plastic Surgery and Medical Spa in Johns Creek, Georgia. I am also the creator and owner of Pretty RX by Dr. Myla, medical grade skincare line. And I'm coming on tonight to talk about belly fat, y'all. So, um, I want to give everybody a chance to get on and the people who are on with me, I'm, I'm asking you to share the video and let people know that I'm on. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I've been so busy. I guess you guys have kind of seen some of the stuff I've had going on. So I'll look up and I'll be like passed out, not on purpose, planning to do a video and fall asleep, putting the kids to sleep. And stuff like that. But tonight I was, I set an alarm just in case I made a mistake and fell asleep. I finally got the kiddo down and I'm ready to do a video. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Mia. Hi, Kendra, Angela, Yolanda, Cammie. Hi, Myla. <laughs> All right. So. I know, um, no, I think the housewives went off already. Didn't it come on? Did it come on at eight? I was trying and I was like, oh shoot, I didn't think about tonight was a big night on, um, Bravo when I made the plan to do my video, but I think the housewives already went off. So anyway, I got a lot to talk about tonight. So, um, a few things have happened in my practice since the last time that I spoke about surgery. Um, Number one, I have become a distributor of Total Life Changes products. It's a health and wellness company. And um, the products are well in alignment with my practice and my brand as far as um, health and wellness. And um, lots of my patients will come in for consults. and Well, not lots, but a fair amount come in for consult. And they have to lose weight. Uh, they have to lose weight before surgery. And um, I didn't really have something that I was offering to help with that. I pretty much just say, you know, get to this weight and then um, I'll see you after that or we'll book surgery and they're racing to get to that weight prior to surgery. And um, I tried the CBD products myself prior to joining the company and noticed um, wonderful improvements in different aspects of my life, not just the weight loss uh, aspect, but as far as um, sleep, because I'm not, you, know, I mean, you guys see I post at two and three in the morning. And stuff like that. I don't sleep well. Um, headaches. My headaches have stopped. Essentially, I haven't had a headache since I started using um, uh, CBD drops at night. And um, little aches that I had, like in my joints because I'm getting older, those have stopped. And then when I started drinking the tea, um, I've started losing weight. So... I think it's a great product to offer my patients from an anxiety standpoint prior to surgery and after um, weight loss for people who need to lose weight. The um, detox tea is also helps keep your bowels moving. So postoperatively, when people are on narcotics for pain control, uh, this can help them stay regular during during the period of time when they're on narcotic pain medication after surgery. And then there's a vitamin that they have called NutriBurst. That is absolutely amazing, and this is definitely something that's good from a dietary standpoint for people pre-op and post-operatively. So um, that's, that's one thing that I offer now in my practice to my patients. And then another thing that I offer now in my practice to my patients is, yes, I will pin the website, Myla, after the, um, at the end, I'll put it in the comments. Another thing that I offer now to my patients is cool sculpting. So I'm sure most of you have heard of cool sculpting before. Um, it's also it's also known as cryolipolysis. And what that means is that it, the fat is frozen. And once the fat freezes, it causes your body to kill those fat cells because it damages the fat cells. So then your body kills the fat cells and carries them away and you just kind of shrink afterwards. Cool sculpting is an excellent um, non-surgical option for fat reduction. And it's been around for a while. It's the uh, modality that all the other fat-reducing um, companies are comparing themselves to. 
because it's known to work. So I, my cool sculpting machine rolled into my office on Tuesday when I was in New York City. And we're getting trained on it next week. And we'll be offering it um, starting, I think, November 21st, I think is the date. I can't check the calendar because my phone is hooked up to this thing. But it's sometime around that week, the um, the week before Thanksgiving is when I'll be officially offering that as an option in my practice. So first I want, so I, so I want to go through your options for reducing belly fat. So there's a few things that go into the way your midsection looks. Uh, some of the things are obvious. Obviously, if you're overweight and not having the healthiest diet, you're going to deposit fat all over your body. And one of the main places it likes to go to is your abdomen. Um, lack of sleep which is one of the things that I struggle with. Lack of sleep causes you to make more fat in your in your abdominal area and more fat around your organs. Um, not having a healthy sleep cycle leads to increased, in, increased cortisol levels. And cortisol is a hormone your body makes, but it also produces fat around the organs. No good. Um, and then stress causes excess um, fat deposit around the midsection. Um, lack of exercise keeps you from burning the fat around your midsection. Having children makes your uh, mid midsection bigger. Part of the, the way that having children does it is by damaging the abdominal muscles and that causes your belly to project out further than it would if your muscles were not stretched out from having children. And so these are all the things that we're gonna talk about tonight. So I'm going to go in the order from least invasive to most invasive options for fat reduction around the belly. Number one is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's probably, it's not probably, it is definitely the most effective and the healthiest way to reduce fat around your abdomen, um, which is diet and exercise. And when I say diet, I don't mean... Um, some some fat diet that you can't that you can't sustain. What I mean by diet and exercise is just eating a healthy diet, eating a healthy diet, watching the number of calories you take in each day, making sure the amount of calories that you put out is like or the mo the amount of calories that you expend is more than the amount of calories you take in. Um, a lot of people have a hard time with this, and that's why part of why I have a job. But that is clearly the most um, effective way and the, most, and the healthiest way to affect your midsection. Now, the truth of the matter is for some people, even doing that, they still have fat around their abdomen. So we all um, have areas on our body that the fat likes to hang around the most. And if you gain weight, it goes there first. And if you lose weight, it leaves there last. And so... For people who have um, trouble, area, trouble areas that happen to be their midsection, it could be a few things going on. One thing that makes your belly stick out that actually doesn't have anything to do with the amount of fat you have on your belly is your gut. So some people are really, they're, they're bloated. And you'll find that like when you eat, your belly expands or you might be gassy all the time or you have a condition called irritable bowel syndrome where you go between... Um, where you go between um, constipation and diarrhea and your intestines are bloated all the time and that's going to make your belly project and that's not really a fat issue. If you have that going on, then a way to improve that is to get on is to do something that's going to help regulate your bowel function, clean out your colon and intestines and keep them clear and keep them free from bloating. And one of the products that I was talking to you about earlier that I use now is the um, weight loss detox tea by Total Life Changes. They have two. Um, oh, I actually don't have the other packet over here with me, so I just can show you one. They have two. One is with CBD and one is without. I actually use both of them because the CBD makes me sleepy. So I try to drink two of the detox teas a day. And so during the day, I will drink the CBD free um, ISO tea. And at night, I have this one. It's it comes in an instant packet. This is the bag that the whole thing comes through. It's called ISOT. 
instant tea with full spectrum hemp extract. So I have this one at night. It tastes like lemonade. All you have to do. Oh, let me drink some more water. All you have to do is tear open the packet, pour it into the water. It's very easy. And shake it up. My thing keeps falling off. Just shake it up. That's it. I'll drink that. Well, I'll take a sip now, but I'll drink this after we get off because it makes me sleepy. But it just tastes like lemonade. Okay, so this, when you use that for five days, most people will use lose at least five pounds. And that's without doing anything major as far as changing your diet. But what it does is it, is it detoxes your liver, your kidneys, your gut, your colon. It cleans everything out. Um, it takes, it took me about two or three days before I had, um, before I felt like the tea was like flushing everything out, but it starts to clean everything out and then you start to lose weight. It makes your, um, makes your intestines less bloated, um, and it cleans out your colon. So your stomach will go, go down. Um, one question that I've gotten a million times and I understand the question because it was the same question that I had, that I had before. I tried it was will these will this tea will these um these other CBD products by total life changes cause you yes it's okay to drink with Crohn's disease um will this tea or these other products that have the CBD in it will it cause you to fail a drug test that's an excellent question um it can if you're using a CBD that is derived from the marijuana plant but this CBD is not derived from that. It is derived from hemp. Okay. So I did a little research. Actually, I did a lot of research. Um, I, the, the, the plant that Total Life Changes uses is hemp. Hemp has cannabidiol in it, but it doesn't have tetrahydrocannabidiol, which is THC, which is found in marijuana. So... In the United States, CBD is legal in all 50 states. It does not have the THC component in it, which is what makes um, the psychotropic effects. You don't get the feeling of being high. It's not addictive. It doesn't have any of that stuff. But it does have the benef the medicinal benefits that marijuana has. We all know about uh, medical marijuana. It has the medicinal benefits without the psychotropic effects. So... Since there's no THC in it, and THC is what drug tests are testing for, then it'll be, come back negative. So I dug a little deeper because there are some companies that have CBD that does have THC in it. For it to be legal in the United States, it has to be less than 0.3% of THC in the formulation. The total life changes formulation has less than 0.3%. 1%. It ha actually has 0.01%. 0.01%. So it's 10 it's 30 times less than the amount you're allowed to have in there and be legal. So you would have to like, I mean, you could drink a whole bottle of the stuff, the like the drops. You could drink a whole bottle of this and still not have it show up on the drug test because it's such a minuscule amount. It's so 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 low. Because it's not a tea, it's not a marijuana plant, it's from hemp. So as long as you're getting it from a reputable company, what you can do is um if you're getting it from a company other than TLC, ask for their certificate of analysis. So I got the certificate of analysis for all of the products that Total Life Changes has that I endorse. And because I wanted to see scientifically, once it was tested in a lab, what the levels were. And it was like barely detectable, like it was less than 0.01, less than 0.01 of of the THC in it, which basically mean I mean like they couldn't they couldn't even really detect it. So it's safe, and it is not a it's not a drug in the in the sense that marijuana is or any other stuff like that. It is 
natural hemp plant with just the good part of it. Yes. So, the to answer your question, the I, the CBD ISOT from Total Life Changes will not cause you to fail a drug test. You can use it. It's going to help you sleep. It's going to help with aches and pains. It helps with epilepsy. It helps with um, bowel function, IBS. It helps with anxiety. It helps with so many things. Now, um, there is a disclaimer. TLC does not claim to diagnose or treat any illnesses. Um, you should definitely talk to your doctor, um, especially if you have medical conditions that you're taking medications for. Talk to them before you start doing these any anything. Um, but in general, this is what the people that I have interacted with who have used it have reported. And I've seen countless articles of people having, it helps with all that stuff, girl. Like it's Kimberly Smith. Yes. All that stuff. Um, you know what? And now that you asked that question, so I started having hot flashes probably about three or four months ago, probably like four or five a day. And they have definitely slowed down. Like I've had a couple in the last couple of weeks, but normally I have like like five or six a day. So, and they have another product called um, Blossom that is um, launching in I think four weeks that is specific for hot flashes. So you should check out the site and look at, they have like over 30 products. They have lots of stuff. Yes, I drink it every day. I drink the tea every day. Um, and then I drink their, their, um, the original tea. I drink the original IAXO tea during the day because it doesn't have CBD in it because the CBD makes me sleep. So, all right. So that's that option. Okay. So we've gone through, we talked about diet. We talked about, um, weight loss with CBD. Um, you can also lose weight, um, surgically with the website, I will put the I will put the link to the website in my comments after this is over. Um, there's also a link to it on my Instagram page in my bio. There's a link to it there too. Um, but otherwise, when it's over, I'll put it in the comments. Um, another way to lose weight, this is surgically, is with weight loss surgeries like gastric band or gastric sleeve or any of those gastric type surgeries that are for weight loss and that will help you lose weight around the organs which is called visceral fat and weight on top of the muscles it'll help you lose weight let lose fat diffusely so that will obviously make your stomach flatter um and then there's stuff like cool sculpting so cool sculpting as i mentioned before is cryolipolysis um there is an applicator applied to the area that we want to go down and um the fat is is brought down to a temperature just above freezing. What that does is keeps it from damaging your skin, but it causes damage to the fat cells. And then after the treatment is over for the next three months, your body will destroy the fat cells that got damaged and carry them off and you'll shrink and it's permanent. So this is a non-surgical option for people who are not good candidates for surgery, for people who are like, I don't want any surgery. Um, for people who have a small trouble area um, that they want to make go away without losing weight everywhere else, uh, if you are happy with the way your body looks like your arms and your legs and um, your hips and butt and all that stuff and all that is bothering you is your belly, then this is a good option for you. Um, I used to offer this treatment when I was in practice in Indiana and I loved it. It was amazing. Like We had so much success with it. Um, I, I wish I had just bought it when I came here, but I was trying to do something new and, but I'm back to cool sculpting because it works. It absolutely positively works. Um, there are other companies that have their own version of cryolipolysis and I can't speak to those companies. Um, if it, it I know cool sculpting works, so, um, how many sessions of cool sculpting is recommended or does it depend on your BMI and the pricing? Right. So it depends on the individual. Uh, for most people, two, two treatments in one area is what is recommended for most. If a person needs so many rounds of cool sculpting or so many areas treated with cool sculpting, 
that it would turn to a situation where you're paying more than what you would pay for liposuction, then that is the time when I would say, hey, let's just do liposuction. Like, why hook you up to this machine for hours and hours, multiple times, multiple visits, when I can do liposuction on you in one setting and get a similar result or better? So, cool sculpting is not, is not going to be um, as effective as liposuction in a person who is bigger. The times where I would think cool sculpting can be as effective as effective is in a person who is smaller so if you're thicker chunkier let's just do the lipo and save you money and save you time and save me time um that's the way i kind of see that and since i'm a surgeon i can offer you more than just cool sculpting when you go to places that just do non-surgical things if you're not a if you're not a good candidate they're not as likely to tell you that because they have to send you away to get what is appropriate. I don't have to do that. I literally can offer you what's best for you as opposed to just do it because I don't want you to leave and I want the money. I can offer you the right thing. So um, if you're bigger, I will you know, more likely tell you, let's just do lipo. Um, if, if you have, if it looks like it's gonna take more than two treatments to get you to your goal, I would, I, I would honestly say get lipo. What would make it not work? Um, it always works. What would make it seem like it didn't work is if you were way too big to start. So it's hard to see the difference if you're starting off way too big. And then you didn't and then you couldn't afford to get enough treatments to make it so that you could actually see the difference. But it absolutely it absolutely works. Every once in a while, super duper rare, like super, 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 super rare. rare a person will get what's called post um, adipose hyperplasia. I mean, I'm sorry, paradoxical adipose hyperplasia. Paradoxical adipose hyperplasia. What that is, is when you, instead of losing fat, you gain fat in the area where you were treated with the cool sculpting machine. That is insanely rare, like super rare. If it does happen though, it happens so, so few and far between that the company will actually pay for you to get lipo of the area, so you don't you're you're not risking anything because if you ha if you get that, they'll pay for you to get lipo. So when I say chunkier, I'm saying I need to see you. Like y'all trying to, I can't you can you can't use this video as a console. Like that's it. If you're asking the question, you might be chunky. Is my guess. Um. Cool sculpting usually does not cause scar tissue. So cool sculpting, um, the average cost is about, I think, $700 per, I think, seven, seven or $800 per um, treatment area. I think. I'm not sure about the pricing because I just got the machine and we haven't done that stuff yet. Right. Um, Rayanne says, I've started using CBD to lose weight and it works great without all the side effects of phenamine. Yes, girl. I mean, you feel like in the morning when I wake up, I feel rested. Um, throughout the day, I'm less, my mood is better. I'm less anxious and stressed. Like I can deal with annoyances a lot better than um, before. I just feel better. I haven't had a headache in six weeks I haven't had a headache or nothing I haven't had I used to have all this tightness in my neck and my shoulders like literally I have not had that since I started using this stuff it's really good stuff does the CBD help with loose skin no it does not it does not help with that can I just get knees cool sculpting you know what you might be able to we have different applicators and I haven't um been trained on all of them but there are there's an applicator small enough for the neck so I'm pretty sure I could do on the top of the knee. So. Okay, so. The next thing option we have is liposuction. That's my favorite. So you guys know I'm the liposuction queen. I love to do natural appearing liposuction. The kind of liposuction where if you're on the beach and a person doesn't know you and they see you in a swimsuit, they won't look at you and say, ooh, 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 who did her lipo? You would just look like you're fit and fabulous in your swimsuit, even though 
Dr. Myla has helped make your abs look like you work out in the gym every day. Liposculpting. So that is another wonderful option for fat reduction of the midsection. Um, and this is, it's the same, it's kind of the same indications as for um, cool sculpting. You like how everything else looks on your body, but you just have more fat in your abdomen area and you just want fat to selectively leave there, then liposuction is a wonderful option for that. If you have excess skin, excess um, stretch marks, and stuff like that, then liposuction may or may not be the answer. Um, if you have too much excess skin and skin laxity and damage to your skin, then you may also additionally need a tummy tuck. Also, if your muscles are damaged, then you will need a tummy tuck. Um, my BMI cutoff for liposuction is 33. My BMI cutoff for tummy tucks is 35. The reason why I have two different ones my BMI for lipo used to be 35. Um, but what I found is that the heavier a person is, the less likely they are to be happy with the outcome. And with the tummy tuck, 35 was the, was the sweet spot for me having, you know, 99% of my patients be happy um, with their outcome. And, and 33 was the sweet spot for liposuction. Some noise outside of my house. Oh, they're taking the trash. I'm like, what's that noise? This is the CBD tea packet. It's trash day tomorrow. My neighbor's taking the trash. I'm like, what is that rumbling? And I just shook it up in here. I'm going to drink this, the rest of this after the video's over because this makes me sleepy. So, but that's the CBD tea packet. Here's the, I will put the link for this up in the, in the comments of this video as soon as the video's over. If you want to purchase it. Um, do you do lipo with a tummy tuck? Great question. So when I do a tummy tuck, I will do liposuction of your sides or your back, but not of your central abdomen. The reason for that, it, the reason why I won't do it is because it increases your risk for necrosis if you do the two at the same time. And, um, I personally think necrosis is just an unacceptable risk of a tummy tuck. And so... I'm not going to do anything that will even a little bit increase the risk of that. So the reason why it increases the risk of necrosis is because the liposuction knocks out a lot of blood supply to the skin and fat of your abdomen from the surgery and tummy tuck knocks out a, a more blood supply and it's different than the blood supply that's knocked out from the, from the lipo. So when both of those blood supplies are compromised, for some, that's just too much. For some, it's too much. And so it will lead to the skin dying from lack of blood supply. Basically, too much surgery in one area. So I break it up if a person needs both. Usually, if a person needs both, usually, about 75% of the time, I do the liposuction first, wait three months, and do their tummy tuck. 25% of the time, I'll do the tummy tuck first, come back and do the lipo later. Um, but my decision-making process for which one goes first is, um, a combination of discussion with the patient about her desired results, timing of when they can be out for the tummy tuck versus the liposuction, the, um, integrity of the skin of their upper abdomen and stuff like that. So there's multiple things that helps me come to the decision of which procedure goes first. But um, when a person needs both, I don't do them at the same time. They're staged by at least three months. Yes, I. someone asked, um, do you repair stretch abs during tummy tuck? Yes, I do a muscle repair with every tummy tuck, all of them. The only way I wouldn't do a muscle repair with a tummy tuck is if the patient specifically asked me not to. That's the only time I would do that. I'll always repair, I always do that with the tummy tuck. So those are your options. Diet and exercise, CBD tea, cool sculpting, liposuction, tummy tucks. Okay, I'm going to go through these questions.
I'm just scrolling back, y'all, to check the questions. Any suggestions on losing belly fat after already having tummy tuck and lipo? I'm one year out. Um, that is a question. That's a so I would really need to see your abdomen to to say. But my suspicion is that if you're still struggling with belly fat after tummy tuck and liposuction, you may have what's called visceral fat, and that might mean you need to lose weight. Either that, or they did not do a muscle repair when you got your tummy tuck, and that makes people's bellies look nice and round. I do not, I cannot stand tummy tucks with no muscle repair. Like it just, it really is damaging to the woman's abdomen. And the only way to make that better is to go back in and do another tummy tuck. You got to lift all that stuff back up to expose the muscles to fix it. If that's the case. So without seeing you and knowing more of your history, it's hard for me to say, but, um, I guess technically if those things are not, if the muscles repaired and it's not a matter of visceral fat and you truly do just have extra, um, sorry, fat above the muscles, then you could do something like cool sculpting. How do you lose the gut and keep the butt? You lose the gut and keep the butt but with um, liposuction, cool sculpting, that kind of thing. Because all the other things, even the weight loss tea, um, that's going to make you lose weight everywhere. So if you want to like have selective fat loss, then that's going to be with things like liposuction and cool sculpting. Will cool sculpting work for someone who had twins or would I have to get a tummy tuck? Um, that I cannot answer without seeing you. Uh, just because you had twins, like some people have twins and their belly is back flat like nothing happened. You know, so it depends on what you having twins did to your belly before I could ever answer that question, Teresa. Alexis, you asked that question a whole bunch of times, didn't you, girl? You made sure I saw that sucker, didn't you? Like, literally, it looked like you asked it like five times. All right, let me go back to the bottom. No. Okay. So Darla asked, will cool sculpting help with visceral fat? And the answer is no. The only thing that helps with visceral fat is weight loss. So for the people who don't know what weight loss is, I mean, what visceral fat is, I'm going to draw a picture. Okay, so let's imagine your body being cut. Like, say you're laying down on the table and somebody cuts you in half, right? So this is skin. This area is fat. This is the muscle layer. And in here will be your organs. So them little circles are organs, okay? Visceral fat is, visceral fat is around the organs. This is visceral fat. Cool sculpting, liposuction can't help with this. The only surgery that can help with visceral fat is weight loss surgery like gastric bypass, gastric band, gastric sleeve, that kind of stuff. Liposuction, cool sculpting does nothing for, for fat in here. It addresses fat out here in this area, the above the muscle area. Okay. Is cool sculpting or laser lipo safe for me after six month postpartum C section? Probably, but like I can't say that for you without seeing and examining you and knowing your history. So I can't answer individual questions on here. You're not, you guys are not my patient. I haven't ever seen you. Stuff like that. I can't say. What I can say is a C section doesn't stop. If just because if you had a C section, you could technically still be a candidate for cool sculpting. You could be a candidate for liposuction. You could be a candidate for tummy tuck. A C section doesn't have anything to do with it.
All right. So you guys are starting to ask like consult questions. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, if you would like to have a consultation with me, you can reach me via my website at www.adarabella.com. Um, or you can call my office at 678-325-0006. I'm going to be having an event in a few weeks. Um, right uh, the week before Thanksgiving called the tea on cool sculpting and it'll be a live demo there. Um, and we'll have some introductory cool sculpting offers that night. Um, so if you guys are interested, stay tuned. We should be putting the flyer out this week and um, the registration link. Uh, there will be limited availability to be there. Um, and there is, um, a cost to come to the event is $50 and that's it. If you're interested in purchasing the, okay, so, oh, let me tell you this other stuff we have. So we have the tea, the CBD ISO tea. We have that. We have the harmony drops. These you just, I shake it up. I take these at night too. Why can't I get, I have a hard time getting this thing open. Okay. Shake it up. Get a dropper full. And then you just put it under your tongue. You gotta let it sit under your tongue for 30 seconds before you swallow it. And then they have, it's called an alleviate cream. And so this is, um, this is their like CBD cream. So if you have like aching joints, back pain, neck, shoulder pain, a headache, like people will have headaches, they'll put it on their temples, put it on their neck, headache go away. Yesterday, Bennett had two football games. Playoff games, played his little heart out, came off the field, talking about my side hurts, man. He gonna kick me in with his cleats in my hip. Da, da, da. He's whining all day. He's like LeBron. He whines all the time. So anyway, last night I got I was like over it. And I'm like, come here, Bennett. And I put a little bit of this cream on his um on the area that he was whining about. And then he was like 20 minutes later, 10 minutes later, he was like, Mommy, it doesn't hurt anymore. It works. My husband has gout. He's been He's been having pain in his leg for over a year and a half. I gave him these Harmony Drops last week, and then he stole them. And I just got, this is my new set of Harmony Drops that I had to order because he stole my Harmony Drops. His gout, like, literally his leg stopped hurting in one, in one dose of Harmony Drops. That's it. Stuff works. I don't know how it's working. A lot of studies are being done now since it's becoming so popular and mainstream, but there aren't a bunch of studies on it at, right now. But it like helps with so many things. So if something's hurting you, ailing you, or you, or it's some chronic something you're dealing with, I would say give it a shot. It doesn't hurt anything. We got the drops, harmony drops, the tea, and the cream. They have a kit called the Full Spectrum Kit with all three of those products in it, and that's one hundred and seventy four dollars for the kit. So for all three, the um, tea is like. $60 for 25 sachets of the tea. So it's like 25 servings. And the cream. I'm not sure how much that cream is. It's probably 60 also. Is my suspicion. But anyway. I'll put the link to all that stuff in the comments. I'm going to go ahead on and drink my um, tea and go to sleep. Yes. Try it for your migraines. I have not had a headache in six weeks. And I get them all the time. Um, yeah, so I gave Ben, I put the cream on Bennett. He's, he's eight. Like it's not, it's not a, it's not like drugs in that way. So, you know, it's okay. It's, you know, it's fine. They use it for, they use it for, um, kids with autism and stuff like that. They've been trying it and seeing promising results. It's just a lot of stuff that's good for. So 
All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and turn in. Thank you for joining me. Share the video if you haven't already. Um, give me like two minutes to get the link, links up in my comments, a link to my office um, and a link to the um, TLC page to buy the products. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Bye.